everyone. Now for the last couple of weeks, I have been working on a project virtually with a family. They got a new house and they have a huge unfinished basement and they wanted to do a lot of work in it. So they wanted to see what it would look like and get some ideas for designing each room. So I'm using a 3D modeling program. And I thought this would be a great program that you could use also. So I wanted to show you step by step the process that I went through to design the structure of it and the flow of it and pick out furniture and everything and also do a video walkthrough for my clients. So we'll do that. We'll go through the whole process and, uh, and then we'll call up my clients and show them and get the reaction to it. Okay, so this should be fun. Take a look at this. Now, since I was not able to see the basement in person, I was sent a video walkthrough of the entire basement. The homeowner described some of the things she wanted and she showed me where there was framing up for walls already. She also sent me a diagram that she had of the basement with the square footage and dimensions, which was really helpful. And after examining a video walkthrough that was sent, it seems that the framing for the walls were laid out this way. There's also a back door here and two windows along this wall. In this basement, the family would like to have a gym, a spa, a bedroom, a lounge, and a theater. In order to accommodate everything and to help the rooms flow a little bit better, I decided to change the framing slightly. Here are some of the changes I'm making. First of all, I'll be removing the door opening on this wall and the two walls that are straight ahead down the hallway and the one that closes in the closet-like area. This way you have a straight path from the stairs to the lounge area, also um, clear access to the other rooms. This area here I petitioned off as a small closet at the end of this hallway. Another change I made was to this straight wall. Since the far left room will be the theater area and you would want access to the back door from the lounge, I changed the shape of the room a little so that you can go outside from the lounge area. So this is how the rooms will be petitioned. You'll have a hallway from the stairs, the gym to your left, another cross hallway, a small closet at the end of the hallway, the lounge area, a theater to your left, a guest bedroom to your right, and a spa bath across from the bedroom. There's also storage under the stairs. In the gym, there will be floor to ceiling glass windows on the side and in the front, indicated with the green rectangles. And the violet rectangles show where the entrances are for each room and closets. Right at the entrance to the lounge area, I added two columns. It should give this entrance way a nice special grand look. I'm also adding small closets in the guest bedroom and the spa bathroom. Now I think the best way to show the family how their new basement would look after it's all done is to use a 3D design program. Now there are lots of 3D architectural and interior design programs out there that will help you design everything from the structure of the building, unique furniture creations, to interior design and just decorating the space. Below I'll leave a link to a video that I found that shows some of the 3D design programs that are out there now. For this project, I'll be using a software called Live Home 3D. This program has a lot of features, but it's pretty simple to use and it gives you nice renderings. The basic program is $19 and for the pro version, it's about $50. I'll start with a new blank canvas. And since I already have a diagram with measurements and the structure of my walls, I can drag that diagram into this program to use as a template. My rulers are set to feet. And to make sure my measurements are accurate to this diagram, I'll choose the longest part of the diagram and pull a ruler down. Then I can type in the measurements of that side 
and click on Effect Underlined in Object and it will change my diagram to fit the measurements of my rulers on my program. Okay, so now I can use my tools. I'm using the straight wall tool to trace the outer walls and then the inner walls and then you can move in and make adjustments. Okay, so now I'm going to add my windows and doors. For that, I'm going to move over here to my library and look for doors And in this library, there's a big selection of doors to choose from. I'm going to look for my outer door first. And this looks like a good outdoor option. So I'm just going to drag that on to where I want my door. And this little arc here shows me which way the door opens. Right now it's opening inward, uh, but I could flip it around. I think I'm going to leave it that way so that the door opens inward. And next I'm going to choose this door delta for the inside doors. And these two will need to be flipped so that they open inward. For this room I'm going to use nice double French doors. And for the closet under the stairs, a single folding door. Now I'm going to add my two outside windows. And my inside glass windows for the gym room. Now I'm just going to add some stairs and my structure is finished. Now I can change my view to the 3D mode and see what it looks like. In a 3D view I could use different tools to orbit, pan, walk around and uh, really see every detail of my structure. I could also switch so that I can see both views and still continue to make adjustments if I had to and I can see the changes on my 3D model in real time. I can also zoom in and I'm going to do that right now so we can start decorating. I think I'll start with the family lounge area so let's pan over to there and then zoom in. Now with this program you can do everything just like you're building a new house. You can add crown molding, you can choose colors and paint the walls and the molding, the doors. In the surface library there's lots of different floor types to choose from. I'm using a polished laminate floor surface. I'm suggesting that they use a ceramic towel that looks like hardwood. But this will give them a visual of what it would look like. And I think this really deep dark color would go well in the basement. So now that we have our floors in and our walls painted, now we can start moving some furniture in. But before we do that, I'd like to do an accent wall right back here just to warm the room up a little bit. There's no fireplace down here, but a brick wall will give you the same type of feel. And instead of putting up an actual brick wall, there are lots of tiles that can be installed that will give you the same look. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with this one. I think it's a nice warm, large stone look. It'll match the floors and uh, also goes with the color of the room. So now let's get some furniture in. I'm going to go to the library and look for sofas and here's a nice leather sofa. Now let's switch to split screen so that I can see and position this sofa exactly where I want it. I also added a love seat right across from it. Now I'm going to change the color of the sofas to a white leather. Now next I'm going to add a rug. Now the library for the program comes with a lot of decor pieces and furniture but it doesn't have the type of rug that I want. For that I'm going to the 3D warehouse 
And this is called Google Trimble 3D Warehouse for SketchUp. And it's a place where you could download and upload free 3D models that you can use in your program. And it's connected to this particular program. So I am just going to type in rug and look at the different types of rugs that they have. I actually would like to have a cowhide rug. So I'm going to go back and type in cowhide rug. And there we go. This is exactly what I wanted. So I'm going to just click on this arrow to download a version of this rug into my program. Then I can just place it in position and scale it down exactly the way I want it. With these outside models, you can also do things like scale and make color changes. So now I want to add a large wall art piece to go over that sofa. And I also found this in the 3D warehouse. I scaled it down, changed the color, and I'm moving it into position. I'm going back to my library and to find some lighting. And I found these nice elegant sconces. I'm going to put on each side of the art. And to finish this live-in space area off, I'm going to add a couple of side chairs, a side table, some art, a couple of plants, flowers, an ottoman, and some books. Now one thing I forgot to add to my structure was the columns. So I'm going to put those in right now. And I think that'll make a really nice grand entrance to this open area. And that's basically how you can build, design, and decorate each room of your home. And you have a great idea of what it'll look like before you even go out and buy the furniture. Now on the other side of this room, I added a wall-mounted TV, an entertainment a table, some wall art, a plant, and the family also wanted a bar in this lounge area. So in the corner of this room, I added a large countertop bar. This bar also has a sink on the other side and a big cabinet for drinks with a small refrigerator. Next to the bar, there's a small table for dining or playing cards. Also from the 3D warehouse, you can find particular brands or furniture. Uh, I just found this IKEA console table and I'm going to put this in right next to the back door. So there could be a place to place your shoes under as sort of a mud area. And I'm just going to add a few shoes under here, which I also got from the 3D warehouse. So I went through the entire 3D basement using the colors and ideas and inspiration photos that I was given from the family and I decorated the entire basement. And now I am ready to show this family what their basement would look like. Okay, so I finished the plans and everything for the basement and now I'm gonna contact the family on Zoom so that we could have a visual walkthrough of the new basement. Hopefully they'll like it. Hello, Em. Hi. I have something for you. I finished your basement walkthrough and I want to show you what everything looks like. So this is a 3D representation of your basement all finished with furniture and decorated. And let's see if um, this is what you're looking for. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is an overview of the plans. And we'll start by walking down the stairs to the basement. And just as you requested, you'll see a wall to ceiling mirror tile diamond shaped wall. In front of it is a small console table at the landing. Coming around the corner on your left, you'll find big open windows looking into the gym area on your left. Look at the gym, oh my God, I can't wait. The gym room is pretty private back here, but the windows will help to give it a nice open feel. 
and straight ahead is the lounge area. Right here at the entrance to the lounge area, I added two large columns. Oh, I love the columns when you first walk through. Yes, I thought it would make a great statement as an entrance to this room. But before we go into the lounge, let's turn a corner right here and take a look into the gym. Now, I opened up this area and the door straight ahead is the entrance to a small closet. I would never have thought of a hallway. I thought that would just be a closet. It's so beautiful. Oh, my God. Yes, it's nice and open now. And to your left, through the French doors, is the entrance to your gym. Look at this gym. This is exactly what I wanted. Great. I tried to match the look that you liked. And this gym can hold a couple of pieces of equipment. In the back by the Bay Area, there's room for a TV on the wall, some seating, a small fridge. And just to give it that real gym feeling, the whole back wall here could be covered with mirrors. Okay, now let's walk straight down this hallway. And coming up on your right is the entrance to the storage under the stairs. And to your left is a guest bedroom. And this is a great spot because there's a window here. Oh, this bedroom, yes. And it's a nice long room. There's room for seating in the back. And I added a closet enough here. Enough room for a closet. Oh yes, God. enough room for a closet, a dresser, um, a king or queen oh, yes. size bed and mm -hmm. still room on the other side of the room for whatever you want. And the best thing is right directly outside of the room is a spa bathroom. You'll have a huge oh spacious bathroom, bathroom with two sinks. Vanity. Vanity. Yes, and a vanity to do makeup. On the other side, there's a linen closet and a large clawfoot soaker tub. You have a huge shower with a rain shower head. Oh, wow. It could be a steam bath. And right here is a private room for the toilet. I decorated your spa with pops of gold, green, and blue over silver and gray. Oh my God, Tony, this is perfect. Oh my okay, God. now let's go back down the hallway and the entrance to the lounge is right here to the right. Oh, and the bar area is beautiful. Yes, the bar directly oh, yeah. ahead. It's so big. And to your left is a nice big living area. Mm -hmm. And there's even room for a table next to the bar for playing games or dining. And I added a nice accent wall to make it warm and cozy and some artwork. And directly across from the living area is an entertainment unit with a TV for playing games or just watching TV in this area. Now coming around this corner, as you remember, there was a wall between the back door and the window. I opened that up so that you'll have access from this room to the back door and a room for a little mud area for your shoes. And straight ahead right through this door is your home theater. Okay the movie theater as soon as you walk in to your right there'll be a cabinet with a oh countertop for popcorn and candy oh maybe install a small fridge underneath for drinks and to your left on the back wall is a giant movie screen i'm never gonna leave this space this is so beautiful thank you tony thank you thank you thank you oh my god i can't wait i don't blame you girl i may be hanging out here with you when it's done and there's plenty of room in here for theater seats. There's four seats at the bottom. You step up on a platform, four more seats. And in the back, there's a large counter for dinner and a movie. And I would decorate this with all your favorite movie posters. And I added sconces all around to give it a nice theater feel. It's a real movie theater. <laughs> yes, this is <laughs> definitely a real movie I'm never theater. Leave home, by the way. This is so beautiful. Well, great. Fantastic. Oh I'm glad you liked everything. So this was your Look. home basement. Ooh. And Isn't of course, amazing? your kids will love this space too because you'll have everything you need for having fun. 
entertaining, <laughs> relaxing, <laughs> and of course, movies on a big screen oh with the kids. Oh my God, Tony, this is everything. I can't wait. I cannot wait to start. I can't wait to finish. Because I want it exactly the way you have it. It's perfect. It's the entryway going down the stairs. I mean, it's so beautiful and it's so elegant. It's just perfect. Like, I'm not ever coming back upstairs. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you so much. Good, good. Oh my God. I'm glad you like it. So, M, thank you so much for letting me work with you and your family. And I'm so excited about what everything's going to look like when it's done. Uh, we've been meeting virtually, so I haven't even actually gone to your place, but you sent me lots of great diagrams and a video walkthrough so that was very yes helpful. i am too i can't wait tony it's just i can't believe you took a simple floor plan we're going through this pandemic nobody's in in and out the house and so it's like i just sent the information to you it's like you were here it don't i don't even understand how you did this with just that simple diagram i sent you it's beautiful i just i can't believe it i can't wait to see the end results. All right, well, thank you so much. It's beautiful. I can't wait. You're so gifted. I don't know how you did it. <laughs> it's just awesome. It so is. good. I'm glad you liked it, and I'm glad you really enjoy um, the look of it, and I got everything the way you want it, so I can't mm -hmm. wait to see it all come together, and then I want to do a separate video when it's all done. Okay. So, uh, hopefully by then I'll be able to, you know, we'll be able yeah, to get together right. and uh, <laughs> of course I'll film in your house and everything. Mm -hmm. But thanks okay. a lot for um, working with me and mm -hmm. I'll see you soon. See you next time. So whether you're a professional interior designer or you just want to make plans for your own space, a 3D design program is a really great way to plan a space in your own home and have a pretty realistic peek at what it would actually look like. So the next time you see this family, we'll probably be filming at the home and see the final finished basement. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Check out my new Etsy store where you can get some of the very projects made on this show. I also added new project guide booklets with full color step-by-step -step instructions for some of your favorite projects, including the Bohemian Crystal Table Lamp. I also just added brand new coffee filter flower instructions. All digital downloads, just $3. And check out my Amazon page where you can pick up my your house a home attention everyone this metallic paint has been doing so well that it is sold out at the moment and because of amazon's policy on non-essential items during this coronavirus crisis they are only restocking important needed items at this time so if you can't find it check back again this item will be available very soon but you can still get my Book of Elegant Home Crafts Volume 1 with all your favorite projects together in one big beautiful colored step-by-step -step instruction book. On my Amazon page, you'll see all my favorite crafting tools and supplies used on this show and you can add them all to your cart for the one-click, fast and easy shopping and delivery convenience of Amazon. I'll be working every day to make crafting fun and easy for you. Follow me at Your House of Home and Your House of Home TV on all social media for extra home, food, and gardening tips.